All right, you guys. Get ready for this next comic. He's a very experienced shroomer. You probably won't even notice. Dennis Cruz! Oh, let's keep it going for the room, huh? How you doing tonight? Oh, I know. I look like the guy your older brother bought drugs off in high school. I get that. I get that. Because he probably did. Oh, I don't know. I blame it on not having education, drug. Ed. I didn't have the D.A.R.E. program growing up. Unless you count all the times my friends said, Hey, man, I dare you to take those drugs. Because I did every, every time. <laughs> I, do wish, I do wish I could take back all the times they did heroin when I was younger. Because then I have something to do tonight. Anybody? No? <laughs> I don't know. I love all drugs. I love all drugs. Ah, uh, but there have been there have been some drugs I've had to you know give the talk. I've had to give that talk to of hey, I appreciate what you've done for me, but you'll never be inside me again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just stole that line from all my ex-wives. Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't know who had kids. You had kids. You doing the fucking? Who's Me fucking? Too. These two right here. Oh, okay. Why me? <laughs> kids. Nobody else has children. That's a. Oh, there you go. Okay. Well, that's. I. See, this is all. A, this is all a premise. I don't have kids. I don't. I have never. No. I have pets. Yeah. I got a dog, a cat. You know, a couple of chickens. You know, normal stuff. Yeah. I just think pets are way easier than kids because if one of mine suddenly goes missing overnight, nobody asks any fucking questions. <laughs> With kids, they're going to ask some questions. <laughs> I don't know. I'm at that age where all my friends' third wives are having their first baby. <laughs> you know? I had to go to a birthday party for a one-year-old. Oh, it sucked. That kid didn't get any of my jokes. <laughs> I don't know, my neighbors were pregnant. Well, she was pregnant. He was just nervous all the fucking time. Oh. Uh, but they had me do that feel the belly thing, you know, here come touch this unborn thing as it gestates inside another living being, no one else. Yeah, see? By the third time, I had to tell them I could no longer be a part of their sexual fantasy. <laughs> But, but I found out, <clears throat> I found, where's that fucking water? Uh, no, I found out they had the baby um, over the holidays. And I didn't, I don't have any children. I've never had children. I don't know the terminology, right? You know, but they came out and they go, we had the baby. It was five pounds, two ounces. And I'm like, that's great. I have no idea what to do with that information. <laughs> I mean, is there a market? Is, is it a contest? Is it like fishing where you get to throw it back if it's too small? I don't, do you sell them by the pound? I don't know. And then I remembered I got chickens, right? Well, my chickens haven't laid any eggs in like six months, so I've been calling them exotic birds. And I have exotic birds, and they weigh five pounds, eight ounces. Don't fucking ask how I know. <laughs> But I've woken up after many a mushroom trip just in the coop cuddling. You know, I get it. You want to you wanna feel that warmth, that, you know. But then I start thinking, you know, these, these birds ain't producing any eggs. They're not earning their keep. They're not contributing to the family. You know, all that shit my parents told me when I was growing up. Oh, I'm just kidding. I didn't have any parents. But I imagine it. <laughs> But, you know, I start thinking, you know, I can pop a neck, throw them in a pot. I can eat for a couple of days. You cannot do that with children. <laughs> People will ask a lot of fucking questions. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm not, I don't have any kids because I'm not good at relationships, right? I, oh, I've, I've been going great since I was 30, so I tend to attract a certain type. A woman. 
you know, and I don't have any kids, so I don't mind when a gal asks if she can call me daddy. As long as I haven't met her actual father, because then it becomes this whole role play thing I gotta take on. You know, I gotta become an alcoholic. I gotta beat up her mom. I gotta buy a shotgun. Way too much work. Way too much work. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I heard a pin. No. Uh. Look at what happened. Oh, fuck you, cop. <laughs> I don't know. No, no. Uh, I'm on a dating app, and it, it's hard to be on a dating app at my age. But I am. I, I'm on this new one called Snacks. Anybody? <laughs> Snack? Yeah, I know. At first, I thought it was just for cannibals who only ate ass. But <laughs> I started reading the bios, the the description. Oh, they they have to put stuff on there like I want something real this time, not fake or imaginary or made up. And then they check off Christian in their profile. <laughs> it confuses me. <laughs> the new thing, the new thing is I don't care what your vaccination status is. I'm, it's random, maybe. But that's your business, right? Which totally eliminates that conversation I usually have to have about syphilis and chlamydia. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I was, I was more adventurous in my youth. As a younger man, I don't know. I, I, I was involved in this group activity once. Anybody? Group act? No. It wasn't an orgy. <laughs> it was just a bunch of people in the same room fucking. <laughs> but I was there with this gal. We were entertaining. We were consensually obligating each other. You know, we were having a good time. You know, I was taking that big dick energy, turning into small penis prowess. You know what I'm saying, sir. And. <laughs> You know, we were going, we were having a good time. I was in there and, I, and out of habit, I looked up, and there was this penis just staring at me. And out of instinct, I slapped it away. <laughs> then I went back to me and my gal. You know, I'm entertaining my gal. You know, I'm working downtown. She's staring uptown. You know what I'm saying, sir. And we were having a good time. And there's a habit thing. I look up, and there it is, one-eyed Willie just staring me down. This time, you know, I slapped it away again, but this time I did it a little harder, and I heard a giggle. I was like, someone is enjoying this way more than I am. But I went back to me and, you know, working with my gal. We were entertaining each other. We were having a good time, and the funniest part, the funniest part was I was with this gal, and we both came at the same, not me and the gal, but me and this dude. <laughs> And I gotta give it up for the folks that appreciate that extra facial moisturizer. <laughs> it took a week to get out of this hair. <laughs> I used Dawn. They made that shit to take oil off of ducks. <laughs> All it did was make it hard and chunky for three days. <laughs> oh, this guy was not on the pineapple juice program is what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh. But that's what I was adventurous. I was, I, I, I gotta have some of this fucking water. <laughs> My hands work. No, they don't. Oh. Oh. See? I have, a dr I have a drinking problem. I spill shit everywhere. <laughs> there we go. No, no, I don't need that. <laughs> now I know why Sam got down and did a dance and shit. Right? Good water. <laughs> Oh, thank you. No, I, I'm all wet. No, uh, <laughs> I, I, I was adventurous as, 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 as a young man. You know, I dated these twins, these identical twins. Oh, they were gorgeous. They were amazing. Uh, their names were Karen and Sharon. <laughs> yeah, they weren't and they didn't. <laughs> It, it, we, it, it, it turns out they were incestuous lesbians. No. Yes. <laughs> we, we, we'd start getting all hot and heavy, you know, working. They'd stop and go, you go 
to the corner. <laughs> but that was cool because it just prepared me for my married life. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I've, 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 I've lived, you know, a lot of people ask me how it is I've lived such an adventurous life, you know. But it's usually at 3 a.m. in an alley behind a bar somewhere, and there are fucking reasons they're asking. <laughs> But I'm just, I'm going to leave you on this. If you see someone standing in front of you rubbing pistachios on their genitals, they're truly fucking nuts. I'm Dennis Cruz. Thank you very much. Keep it going for Dennis Cruz. I was wondering how he got his hair so silky and smooth. <laughs> <laughs> 